So when we move horizontally, that would be our what? Our x bar. Because x is horizontal. Ne? Yes. So it means our x bar is what? 25. Do you understand that part? Yes. Okay. So now, let us check now. If we check here, for you to get your, your y bar, you took the total distance and you divided it by 2. For you to get the x bar, you took the total distance, you divided it by 2. You can only divide by 2, only if your, 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 your area is symmetrical. So let us check here. We have this shape. <laughs> there is 100. Here is 50. We have this line here, which is our reference, as well as that one. This one is xx. This line we call it xx because it's horizontal. It's where your center is. And also this one is our center line because it's vertical. We'll call it yy. You get that part, me? So for you to know if you, you need to divide it by 2 or, the, or use the formula, for you to divide it by 2, it must be symmetrical. So let us check about xx. For xx, once we, we use xx as reference, it means we are talking about y bar, right? Yes, yes. If we are talking about y1 as a reference, or if we take about y y our reference, it means we will be talking about x bar. X bar. So now let us take XX as our reference horizontal, right? So we, we need to check if the shape is symmetrical. So when we are here at XX, is the shape at the bottom the same as the shape above XX? Yes. It's the same, right? Mm -hmm. So for the fact that the shape is the same, it means you need to take the total distance, and you divide by 2, then you get your Y bar. So let us check xx. For xx, this is our reference. Right? So this being our reference is the shape on the left of the y1, the same as the shape on the right of y1. Yes, the shape it is the same. So therefore, in this case, you can take the total distance and divide by 2 to get your x bar. Any question? No question. Okay.
Let us look at this triangle. From here to here, from the edge to the edge is 100. The height, this height is 90. You get that, that part, me? And remember, X bar will, will go vertically up. No, Y bar will go vertically up and X bar will go horizontally. This is going to be our X bar. So we are having this one. We need to find the center. So now, if I come here and I say the center is something here, this is my Y Y. If I say the center is somewhere there, and I come and put this one here, I say the center is somewhere there. Right? So now I need to find X bar. What will be the value of X bar? 50. So let us check if we can take the total distance and divide it by 2. From, from if I'm here using this as my reference, why why? Because when we take y as our difference, the shape on the left is the same as the shape on the right. So in that case, we can take the longest distance and divide it by 2. So let us check our y bar. y bar we supposed to find it from that, that reference, right? So is the shape below xx? The same as the shape above xx. It's not the same. Eh? Meaning, in this case, we cannot take the longest distance and divide it by 2. Therefore, we need to use a formula. So, according to triangle, the center from, from the side of 90 degrees still to the center, that will be h over 3. Do you get that part? That is the formula for a triangle. In the case whereby the shape above is not the same as the shape at the bottom. This formula is only for a triangle. You get that part, yeah? So what, what would be our x bar moving from the bottom? Not x, our y bar. It would be 30, right? Because it's the height divided by 3. You are dividing by 3 because it's a triangle. And on this triangle, the shape above is not the same as the shape at the bottom. So, if we were told to calculate from the top, what would be a y, y bar from the top? I think this one is the y bar from the bottom. So, what would be the y bar from the top? Sorry? Six. It will be 60. Do you all understand that 60? You don't? I mean, look here. Here we, we are saying it's our, it's our center, right? Do you agree that from there to there is 80? Mm -hmm. The center did not change. The center is not changing from there to there is 80. And from here, at the bottom up until here is, is 90. The center is still on the same position. So if from here to here is 90, and from there to there is 80, how long from there to there? It's 60. Do you, get, do you all get the part? Okay, so now let us check on this one. This triangle here. Here is 100, 
then there here is still 90, the height. What would be the value of x bar from the, the far left or from the left end? What would be the value of x bar? Agree for us to get x bar, it means we need to put y, y, right? So there's our y, y. So how long from here up until to the center there? Sorry? How long? You said? I cannot hear what you see. I'm not so sure if you're supposed to use a formula or you need to tell me if you use a formula and why to use a formula. If you do not use a formula, still why don't you use a formula? Because x is not symmetrical about y. We use a formula because when you take y as your reference, the shape this side is not the same as the shape at this side. So you cannot take the total distance and you divide it by 2 because that is not symmetrical. So in this case, you are going to say because you are from, from, from 90 degrees up until May, that is the distance which is h divided by 3. By this time, if you think you can use b, as long as you substitute it correctly, the b will refer to that distance. So it means it will be 100 over 3 from the left. What about y bar? What will be the value of y bar? From the bottom. Sorry? <laughs> same formula. So if it's the same formula from there, our, 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 our x, this is our reference xx, meaning from there up until to the center, which it will be h over 3. Therefore, it will be 90 over 3. Therefore, the answer will be 30. You understand that part, ne? Okay. So now, let us check. We have a built-up beam. A beam which, is con which consists of more than one area. One area one, area two. This one I'm saying is more than one area because mathematically, mathematically we do not have this shape. Do you have this shape mathematically? No. Let me do like that. Mathematical will have this shape. Mathematical will not have that shape. Right? So now we need to construct those shapes or those areas according to mathematical areas or geometry. So now I can close here. Mathematically, we have this shape, which is a rectangle, right? And we also have this shape, which is a, another rectangle. So now I need here, let us take this as 100, 20, 200, and 20. Do you understand my, my dimensions? Yes, yes, this 20 is the distance from there to there, the 200 from there to there, 20 there to there, 20 there to there, 100 from there to there. So, okay. Now, let us find x bar. Remember x bar will be horizontal, right? From the far end. So for x bar, we'll take this one. Where we think there's a center as our reference, y, y. So from the far end, we cannot start from here up until there. Because the far end of this shape is this one here. You get that part, right? Yes, is this one here. So, how long from the far end up until to the center? So that it will be our x bar. So what is our x bar? It's 50. Does this shape allow us to take the, the total, the, the total, the, the, the longest distance and divide it by 2? It does, right? Eh? Why? Because when we are at y, y, the shape this side is the same as the shape on the other side. Mm -hmm. So in that case, we can take the longest distance, we divide it by 2. That it will be our x bar. Mm -hmm. 
although we have two areas, right? But this it, 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 it's one sheet. Those two areas they assist us in in finding the, the, the same point. Yes, but all in all, this is one sheet. But we need to construct different areas within this one shape so that it can assist us in finding our set point. So now let us find Y bar. Finding Y bar, what will be our reference? XS, ne? the horizontal line. XX. So how long from far bottom up until to the center? So, sorry? Do you take the longest distance and uh, do, do you take the longest and divide by two? No, no. 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 It's, it's, uh, it's it's okay. Okay. So, so you observe that shape on the top, the height of that. So if it's 120 in total, you divide that by two and then 110. So we will take 200 mm -hmm. plus 20, mm -hmm. which is 220 divided by two. Mm -hmm. Then we we'll get our y bar. It means you don't understand. I said before you can check the longest distance, you need to check if it's symmetrical. Yeah. So when you are here at XX, is the shape above the same as the shape at the bottom? No. The shapes are not the same. So it means you cannot take the longest and divide by two. By doing so, it means you will be applying to repeat. <laughs> <laughs> so in this case, in this case, because we do not have, because this is not symmetrical, therefore, you use the formula. So in this case, we have y bar is equal to uh, area 1 times y1 plus area 2 times y2 over area 1 plus area 2. So if we had three areas, I was going to add the, the, the area, area 3, y3 over plus area 3 there. So this one at the bottom is the total area. So okay, y bar, as you can see, y bar is the center of the whole object. You get that part, right? Yes, Y bar is the center of the whole object. It may, although I did not go it correctly here, you may find that it's somewhere here. It goes somewhere there. Let me move also this one. You may find that it's somewhere there. This edge, XX. Can you see? It's not in the middle of the area two. And it's also not in the middle of area one. Because it's the center of area one being together with area two. You understand that part? Okay. So now, what is A1? A1 is the area of area one. In this case, because the shape of area one is a rectangle, it means area one it will be. 100 by, by 20. Area 2 is the area for is this one, which will be 200 by what? By 20. So what about Y1? Y1 is the Y bar for only area 1. Or Y1 is the center of area 1 from the reference. Okay, let us check that one. Under here is our area one, right? So in the center of area one, the center of area one is there, right? How long from here up until there? It's 10. But remember, it, we must always start from the far bottom when you calculate. So from the far bottom, how long from the far bottom up until to the center of area one? It's what? 
to 10. It means our y1 is equal to 10. You get that part, man? And our y2, y2 is the same as it gets our area 2. How long from the far bottom up until to the center of area 2? 100. So it means y2, it will be 100. So as the initial we have indicated that area 1 is, is 0 0.1 or let me say 100 times 20. If this one is given in, in meters, then area 2, it will be 200 times 20 if given in meters. You get a part, eh? Only if given in meters. So if it's given in millimeters, you must first convert them to sorry, to meters. Although even if you do not convert, you will still get the same answer. However, it becomes difficult for most of students to know now they need to convert, now they do not need to convert. So I will advise you all the time. You need to use the standard unit. Standard SI unit, which is meters. But if you understand what you're doing, you can. Because at the end, you have millimeter square here, millimeter square here, divided by millimeter square here. Meaning <coughs> millimeter square and millimeter square will cancel. So on the case where by millimeter square and millimeter square it won't cancel, it means all your answers will be wrong. That is why I'm saying I advise you to use the standard SI unit. So here we are having 1000, oh it's 2000, eh? yes, we are having 2000, and here we are having 4000. So in this case, when we substitute here, we are having 2000 multiplied by 210 plus 4,000 multiplied by 100 all over 2,000 plus 4,000 and what you get? Sorry? What do you get? 70, 68, 3. Yeah. 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 Yeah, this one is just like that. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no way it can be, when I look on the diagram, it can be below the center of area one. There's no way. Remember, when we talk about the center, it means even if we were to put this, this thing upside down, like this one, it won't rotate them upwards because there is, is where there is a center. Yes. So, okay. One last more.
How many areas do we have there? We have three areas. Area one, area two, area three. So, when we want to find y bar, we have the formula y bar is equal to area one, y one plus area two, y two plus area three, y three all over area one plus area two plus area three. This formula you can also use the x bar, which will be x area one times x one plus area two times x x two plus area three times x three all over area one plus area two plus area three. So meaning for your x, you will be starting from the far left, right? Yeah, when you calculate your x1, you will be starting from far left up until to the center. So, another thing, do you always add? No. For instance, if you have another area inside the other area, for instance, if I'm having this one, this is area 1, and somewhere here, I'm having area 2. Can you see area 2 is inside this area 1, right? Therefore, we are going to subtract area 2. Instead of adding area 2, we say minus area 2, because area 2 is inside another area, which, which makes it a wall. So now, for this one, what will be the value of x bar? X bar? X bar it will be 100. Already we can put our reference here, our YY here. That's our YY. So when you are at YY, is the shape at the left? The same as the shape on the right. Yes. So if the shape is the same, it means you take the longest distance. Okay, not take this one because this one is called the longest. We take the longest distance. We divide it by two. Therefore, you get your x x bar. So let us check now y bar. We need to find y bar. So meaning x x becomes our reference, right? X, X becomes our reference. So Y bar from the bottom up until there, how long? Sorry? What's our Y bar? Sorry? Sorry? One seventy. You said twenty plus three hundred plus twenty. 20 divided by 2. Formula. We use the formula. Why do, you use, why do you need to use that formula? Is it not symmetrical about this one? It's not symmetrical. Right? The shape at the bottom is not the same as the shape as above. Although, if you were not getting dimensions, we're going to say that the same. But because of dimensions, can you see this dimension is not the same as that one? Yeah. Therefore, these two shapes are not the same. Therefore, we need to use this formula. Mm. You get that part, right? Mm. Yes. So now, we are not going to calculate because you already understand how to find the area, how to find the area, also how to find the area. And you can substitute there and you calculate. So the only thing which you can do is to find y1, y2, y3. Then we move on. You we'll agree on that part. Okay. So what would be the value of y1 here? Yeah? Y1 Remember we move from the bottom. Oh. This what? One page. Two page. Two page. Is there anyone who does not understand the 30? Yeah. You don't understand the 30? Look this one. This is our area 1. So for our area 1, 
the center of area one is here, right? Do you agree that the center of area one is there? So how long from there to there? It's ten. But remember, we must always move from the far bottom when we calculate. So from the far bottom up until to the center there, how long is it? Is it not this ten plus the distance from there up until here? Which is Do you understand now? So if you understand that y1 is 380, what would be the value of y2? Do you agree with 170? Y2 it would be 170. And what about y3? Y3 it would be 10. So guys, at the end, you will get your Said. That doesn't mean the equation cannot ask you to calculate from the top. When they say you need to calculate from the top or they want the value from the top, it means you can calculate from the bottom, right? Let's say from the bottom you get that is somewhere there at, at 3, 315. Not 315. At 2. Two what? It's just an example, right? 295. It's just as an example. I'm not saying you're going to come out as 295. Mm -hmm. So it means what, what you can do, you can find the total distance, then you subtract that 295. Therefore, the remaining distance, it will be your y bar when you move from the top. You get that part, right? Yes. So, okay, we are done with this one. So those shape which we were looking at or we were calculating, those shape they are non-standard. They are non-standard. The standard shapes we find them here. What holes, structural steel sections. which is given as a parallel fringe. This is the I, I beam, parallel fringe. So this one is standard. So this is what I have written here is a description of this I. We have I, we also have H, that will be seen. The information of the flange, the web, and this other flange, they are not given because that one is standard. It's no longer the same as the one which we're doing initially. So this one is standard. So now I want you to go and look. You must find, I think this is an arm, right? Parallel flange. You must go to the eye parallel flange and you look for this description. Do you get it? Yes. Which page? Page two. You get it from page two, right?
Can you also get a channel? Which page is the channel? Sorry? On page 12, page 10. On page 10. So, if you check, there are tables. There's a table. There are tables in there. So in this table, the heading of the table are the alphabet. Can you see? What is the first alpha alphabet? It's row, it's row L, ne? It's row L. And the second one? is H. Then the third one is B. So just below that row, what you see? Those are the SI units. Right? So if you want to know the SI unit of row L, is the one at the bottom. If you want to know the SI unit of H, is the one at the bottom. You get that part, right? So, uh, in this table, the first one is row L, the second one is H, B, T1, T2, R1, H1, and area, and so forth, and so forth. So here is millimeters, kilogram, per meters, millimeters, 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 millimeters. This one is 10, 83 meters squared. From there to here is given as what? 
SH. From somewhere here, up until somewhere here, is given as H1. From this one here, is given as what? T1. And this one here, is given as what? T2. From there to there, is given as what? As B. It's not there in your book. As, as I was making copies, it means the photocopying machine is cut at one, but please take note that that is B. Also, when you go to the channel, when you go to the channel, it's the same thing. Here, from there to there, they have written H, meaning if you need a distance from there to there, you go and read H. From here to there is given B. From here to there is given T1. So you can check all the alphabet which are given, depending on which alphabet you want to use or which dimension you need to use. So we are together on that one. Okay. Let me take this out. The other one on the right corner. Here is written Y, Y. This one is written X, X. Same apply with this one. Y, Y, X, X. What, what is Y, Y? Y1 is where the, our center is, right? And XX is where our center is, right? Same applies here. Y1 is where the, our center is. And XX is where our center is. So, how long from far left up until to the, our center? How long? Sorry? If you check, if you check here at the top corner, there they say from here up until to the center is what? A1. They're giving it as A1. Why? Because is this one symmetrical about Y? It's not symmetrical. Right? The shape this side is not the same as the shape this side, right? Yes. Therefore, you cannot take the total distance and divide it by 2. You get a part. Mm -hmm. So that is why they are, they are saying from here up until to the center, you need to go and read what? A1. Mm -hmm. So what would be our, 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 our X bar for this one when you move from the left? For this channel, what would be our X bar? Mm -hmm. Sorry? It's 18. Sorry? X bar. What's the value of X bar? Mm -hmm. What's the value of x bar? 20.1 millimeters. It's 20.1 millimeters. And they say from here up until to the center is a y. And at the y1 is where there's our center, right? 
So, and this one, we are moving horizontal. Therefore, this horizontal is the one which is our X, X bar. So, you need to go, to go and look for this channel. And you read your A1. That will be your X bar. Do you understand? Yes. So, for this one, what is our X bar? For this I, what is our X bar? You said this page 2. What is the X bar? Do you get the channel? Okay, let us check this, this I, right? If, at, if we use YY as reference, is the shape at the left not the same as the shape on the right? Yes. It is the same, eh? So what do we do if the, same, if the shape is the same? We divide by 2, eh? You take the longest distance. And in this case, is this the longest distance? Is this the longest distance? Yes. Is given as what? Is given as B, eh? Meaning the whole, for this channel, you need to find the value of B. Then you divide it by 2. That will be your X bar. So in this case, what is our X bar? Sorry? 50. 50. Why? 1. 95 millimeters here for it divided. Yes. You took what? B. It's 50 by 95. 50? 50 point. There's no one. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You, you, you took 165.7 divided by 2. 101. Yes. 101. Oh, 101. Oh, I was reading the wrong chart with the wrong eye. 101.9. Yes, that's correct. So, if you were to find Y bar for this one, how would you find Y bar for this one? Y bar. Y bar. Sorry? H divided by 2. H divided by 2. H. Oh, I want to do it. I want to do it. It's what? 150. 150. 154.95. You get what? 154. 154.45. So, okay, now let us move to the build up B. Build up B. A build that consists of more than one shape. We have this channel and the rectangle. How many areas do we have there? Two. We have two. Eh? The one area, first area is a standard one, second area is what? Non standard. So in this one, what will be the value of X bar? 
Warte, bitte, den Bildern auf Expo ab. Warte, ich bin der Hand. Du bist der Hand. Warte, ich bin 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 der Hand. If you only look at number one, that will be x1. You understand what part me? So now I'm looking for x bar. If you, if, if you say we cannot just find x bar, we need to use a formula just to indicate that we need to use the formula. What do you mean? That's what? 120. 120? Yes. Do you all agree with 120? Yes, sir. I get this one. The center is something like play, right? This y y is the shape at the left, the center is the shape at the right. So because it's the same, you take the longest distance. And in this case, the longest distance is this one, right? And you divide that by two. And when you read, this one is not the h. So you mean you are going to take the h and divide by two, right? So now, if we find X bar is what? As 120. And you need to refrain from using this B. You need to read the edge from the book. Because sometimes you find that the edge from the book and this one, if I one, you find that in the book is 241 or 241. So do not take that one, that thing. Just read from the book. Or from the table. So now, what would be the value of y bar? Y bar, it means you can estimate that center is somewhere there, which is xx. So is the shape above the same as the shape below? It's not the same. So if it's not the same, what do we do? The formula. And in this case, the formula it will be y bar is equals to area 1 times y1 plus area 2 times y2. So because it's 2 of them, I will end back. Then over total area. And our total area is area 1 plus area 2. So now, let us start with the areas. What is the value of area 1? Four comma two three one. Mm -hmm. Meter square, right? Then area two. Let, let us take this given that this is a millimeters, right? So it will be what? So what do you get? Sorry? What do you get? 4 times 10 to the power negative 3 meters point. So, okay, that's our area 1 and area 2. Now we need to find y1 and y2. Let us start with y2. What is the value of y2? y2 is 100, which, which is 0, 0,1, right? Yes. Yes. 100 is 0, 0,1. I think I said this it must be it's millimeters, right? It does, yes. Yes. So what, what about the value of y1? y1. Sorry? I think it's 2.2. Isn't it? It's 2 what? 2.2. 2 .2. 2 .2. 242. Yes. Isn't it? 242 millimeters, right? Yes, sir. This one is millimeters. Yes, sir. Two, two. What do you get? 211.15 millimeters. Uh, what do you get? 2 <laughs> 0.2 0.2 0.2 0.2 0.2 0.2 0.2 0.2 0.2 0.2 0.2 0.2 0.2 0.2 0.2 0.2 0.2 0.2 0.2 0.2 0.2 0.2 0.2 
So let us just check and let us let's check out to get y1 and y2. Mm. So what will be the value of y2? Hundred. Value of y1? Sorry. For two forty two. Two forty two comma five. Millimeters, any different answer? Because in this case, I strongly believe that there's a different answer. <laughs> Sorry? Uh, 204,75 millimeters. Any different answer? Yeah, we are in the answer. One hundred and seventy-seven point seven. One hundred seventy-seven. Seventy-seven point seven. Point seven millimeters. Yes. Another answer. Majority. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Which one? This one. Yeah. 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 This one. This one. This one. Yeah. This one. Yeah. 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 So which one is majority answer? The second one is two of four. Two of four. Two of four, yeah. Okay, let us check a two of four, if it's correct. I never said there's any which is correct. I'm okay. saying let us check which one is correct. Mm -hmm. So okay, the center of the channel, right, mm -hmm. is here. Mm -hmm. So how long from the bottom up until there? From there to there, how long? Minus the minus the A Y. So if we check on this one, right? Yes. It will be much more, much more easier. It will be much more easier if we take the, distance, the total distance from the bottom up until up there. Mm -hmm. Then we subtract the distance from there up until there. Then we'll be left the distance from here up until then. Mm. Do you agree? Yes. So now, let us find the total distance. How long from here up until then? How long? Is it not 200? So, um, At least this distance from there to there, right? Yes. Plus the distance from there to there. Yes. Which is? 9.5. Plus 9.5. Yeah. What? what? Where did you get this 9.5? This one is 2 1, right? Yeah. Yes. So now we do have a total distance, which is 200 plus that one, right? Yes. Then from there, you need to subtract a 1, which, which is the distance from there up until to the center. Mm -hmm. And what is our a 1? 22, 3. So this one will be our y2. And what we get as our y2? 187,2 millimeters. So majority was wrong again. 
Yeah, this is the difficult one. It's the Yeah, let us check on this one. What, what is the value of x bar? It's a formula, right? So being a formula, it means it's area 1, x1 plus area 2, x2 over x1 plus yeah, a1 plus a2. We already understand the areas, which we now need to do about is the, is the x1 and the x2. So, okay. This is the front end, right? We need to move from here. So, on this one, Y1 is there. What would be the value of X1? Sorry? Which one is here? Which one is here? Uh, this area 1, this area 2. Sorry? Is it not the H divided by 2? It is the H divided by 2, right? Sorry? Oh, yes, it's H divided by 2. 
Area 1 and 2 is 1. Then the H divided by 2. The weight has increased, right? And, and if you check even this channel, can you see the channel? It's been placed through the center of its, it through its own center. Meaning the, the same distance from there to there is the same as that one from there to there. Can you see that one? The way it is in position. You get that part, man? I'm saying x1 and x2 in this case is the same. Do you see that part? I mean, what's the center of the channel? Is the center of the channel not on the same center as the the, 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 the eye? They are in line. So meaning from there to there is the same as from there to there. You get that part, right? Yes. So now let us look. Now let me move this one from there. This is the center. This is the center of this y1, right? So this one, the channel, I put it here exactly where this center starts to this side. Can you see it? Right? Do you see that part? What would be the, the value of x2? What would be the value of x2? Okay, let us start with x1. What is the value of x1? 152,5. And the value of x2? <laughs> I'm in the center of x2. The center of x2 is it not somewhere in there? So how long from here up until to that center? One seven six point three. How did you get that one? Um, I took your x one and which is one fifty two. One fifty two comma five plus a one plus a one. That's correct. I think from here to here is is the half of this one, right? Mm -hmm. Then from there to there is x one. So for, we're looking from there up until there. You get that part, right? So now let us look for y1. What would be the value of y1? This one somewhere here we have xx. What would be the value of y1? Remember, we need to move from here up until to the center there. The center of area one is somewhere there, right? So how long from here up until to the center there? This is the last one. And then you can put to be. Why one? Sorry? Right? Yes. So what is the height of the channel? 